New details tonight in the disappearance of a beloved parrot. He's lived at a suburban school for two decades, helping students learn science. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez is live in Flossmoor, where the hunt is on for Blue the Bird. Maribel. Yeah, that's right. He's not just any normal pet. Blue is regarded as a member of the family here at this school, a beloved bird who's literally walked the hallways alongside generations of students. Now they tell me that they're looking for him and they're needing your help to bring him back home. This is where Blue lives. There's an empty cage inside of this Homewood Flossmoor Community High School classroom. Blue's family and we need Blue back. And among their students, a hole in their hearts. The program is distraught. That's because their macaw parrot, an animal that's been part of the school's zoology and botany program for 20 years, is now missing. The school principal, Dr. Clinton Alexander, says it was an accident. Well, apparently, one of our students took him home and uh, was kind of nursing him over the weekend, and he got away. He was outside, and apparently the wind blew. It's routine that students take Blue home as part of this program. That's how they learn to take care for animals like him. But on this particular weekend, Blue's wings were not clipped. That's why we clip him to keep him from being mm -hmm. able to, uh, to fly away. And the clock is now ticking to find their beloved bird because the temperatures are dropping. Well, he's a tropical bird, so the frost is harmful to him. And due to Blue's crooked beak. You know, we need to find him so we can nurture him because it's a very sophisticated method to feed him. Until then, they say this classroom and the hallways that were home to Blue will now be less vibrant in his absence. A routine sighting of Blue is to uh, see him in passing period with uh, him being on someone's shoulder and uh, he would squawk at people and he was just a really friendly face around the building. He was a, a true family member. Principal Alexander did say the school got a tip about a possible sighting of Blue not too far from here, but unfortunately they weren't able to find him. They did say if you do come across Blue, you should contact them immediately to help bring him back home. And we do have that contact information up on our website on CBSChicago.com. We're live in Homewood. Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 uh, News. We'll hope he turns up. Thanks, Maribel.